What's going on guys? It's your boy John the Liquidator coming back with another video. So it looked like Deion Sanders Jr. just exposed a major rule change the NCAA just enforced that will bring us better and more exclusive sideline content during the season. Guys, for this one here, we got to go all the way up to Boulder. Let's get it. Let's go. Deion Sanders Jr. has been transcending with content. The way he provided, the way he captured it, the way the moments is with practice or game footage, he has definitely changed the game. And I believe we owe a lot to Deion Sanders Jr., bro. What he's been able to do for the Colorado Buffaloes football team and bringing us content is revolutionary. I don't believe anything like this could be topped or duplicated ever again. It's uncut, it's raw, and it's real. With all that being said, Deion Sanders Jr. exposed some very important information that I believe has not been released to the public yet. In regards to the NCAA doing a major rule change for sideline recording and being able to film the action live while the game is being played. Skull Buff's daily spaces that was just recorded moments ago where Deion Sanders Jr. is letting it be known the Colorado Buffaloes had a major contribution to this rule possibly getting changed. Let's roll the footage. So like, like I told y'all last time, that's why I would like, after the TCU game, they told on us and like sent pictures to the NCAA. What? It was like, you know, because every... If, after every time we won, everyone just got mad. And they would just start telling on everything. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, they going to so, get yeah. mad a whole lot this time. They was like, oh, well, there's multiple cameras in the box. It's not legal. So I so I had to just walk through the box for the rest of the games and record outside of the 20s. You know what I'm saying? Outside of the team area, supposedly. Mm. That's why a TCU game is more in-depth. Like, after they got a pick or something, you could run up in their face with the phone and get great stuff but i mean i still did that but it's like i had to do it discreetly on the on the fly right but this, but this year they changed the rules or it's as many cameras as you want they just oh, gotta be lit. You, they just gotta be part of what like 50 passes or some type of passes they however many passes they give people because i know they're gonna give you so many like like far as the, like in that area but to go to from one to as many as you want, we had to have an impact on that. No, for sure. For sure, for sure. I want to give a big shout out to Skull Buffs Daily and Deion Sanders Jr. for letting us know that information. That is crucial information because what he is insinuating is that when he was filming on a sideline, he couldn't actually film on a sideline. He had to go by the field goal post, which I did witness him in that area last year when I was at the games. I was wondering why he wasn't filming directly on the sideline. So he's being very honest when he's telling us this information. But I never knew that that was a rule to where there could only be one camera available within the box area of the sideline. But by them changing that rule, this will allow us to see actual footage from the sideline as plays is happening as players coming back returning to the sideline it is going to make the videos that much better so the ncaa i don't believe don't hold me on this one has not went public with this rule change yet because i've been looking and i haven't seen anything online that's saying that this rule has changed but as of right now bro junior is confirming this rule is changing so uh you could film directly from the sideline get down in the comment section let me know your thoughts about this keep them bells on because you know i'm gonna bring you the news and like always until next time shake the haters off i'm out of here peace out you cut me you should have seen better now cut me yeah they talking about it we coming they doubting us Saying. We coming, they think it's a game. We coming. I don't give a damn what they say. You best believe. We coming.